RadicalPrep.com. Okay, this question says Mark reads on average four books per month. How many years would it take for him to read 240 books? Okay, so this is a proportion question, and usually what you have with these types of questions, you get in this format something over something equals something else over something else. And the main thing is, what's, whatever's on the top there has got to be on the top over there, so the units have to match up. And whatever's on the bottom, it's got to be the same stuff on the bottom. So for this problem, he reads four, buck, bleh, <laughs> four, bucks, four books per month. Let's put that in. Four books per one month. And I'm just going to abbreviate that with M. How many years would it take for him to read 240 books? So I see that it's in years. I'm not going to worry about that yet, though. So let's put in what we know. We know he wants to get to a ton of books here, 240 books. Okay. And we don't know how much time it's going to take, so we're going to have X months. Uh, and I know it gets a little confusing here with X and M. Just keep in mind this is some amount of months. Anytime you see two fractions set equal, cross multiply. So we've got 4 times x, 4x, four 1 times 240, or 240 times 1, 240. I'm going to divide by 4, divide by 4, and we have x equals 24 divided by 4 is 6. Bring down the 0. Okay, so we have x equals 60. So what did we actually find? Well, it was some amount of months, right? So we know it's going to take them 60 months to do. The only problem is they're actually asking for what? They're asking for years. So we've got to convert this months into years. And you can see that that answer wouldn't be right anyway because all our answer choices are small numbers. Okay, so if we know it takes them 60 months, how many months are in a year? 12. 60 divided by 12 is 5, and that's how we get to years. Answer choice B. But the main thing, just make sure your units are matched up. Whatever is over here on the top is over here on the top and the same thing with the bottoms.